Hello and welcome to Grand Arena Championship. I'm Heathen13 and this is the final week of Season 12. In this first round of the week, I matched up against Phoenix. At least that's the way Google pronounced that. So let's take a look at the matchup. Alright, looking at the hotbot, you can see I have almost all of the green on my side. Zooming in, you can see all of the stats lean in my favor. So let's see what we can deduce about Phoenix. You can see that he has 664 offensive wins compared to only 134 defends and 60 clears, which makes me feel like, just from the stats, that he's going to be a more offensive heavy player. When we compare our rosters, I do have a 400,000 GP advantage. I also have a higher top 80 and top 65 GP. I have roughly 25 more Zetas and a little bit of a speed advantage, although not much. I have a few more G13s and he's got a few more G12s. And I have a pretty large mod advantage when it comes to the amount of 6-dot mods and then the speed mods. Where Phoenix has advantage is in total relic levels. You can see he has 8 tier 7 relic characters compared to my 1. So that is probably why we are matched up. But if I'm being totally honest, I don't think it's going to be much of a match. All right, let's take a look at his roster and see if there's anything else that stands out. You can see he runs a seven star negotiator in Fleet Arena. When we look at the capital ships, he is missing the Radis and the Malevolence. In looking at his G13 characters, what stood out to me is that he does not have a 7-star gas yet, although his 5s and Rex are both Relic 7. And he also has some a couple very strong teams. His Padme team is all relic out, Relic 7. A Relic Spy for his Geos. He's got a Relic Bosk on his Bounty Hunters. He's got a Jedi Knight Revan that's Relic 4. He's got an Asajj that's Relic 4. He's got a couple of his Resistance. You see Jedi Training Ray is Relic 7. BB-8 has a Relic. He has some separate destroys that are Relic as well. And then finally, he has a Darth Revan squad with Revan, Malak, and Basila Shan Fallen, all with Relics. Now looking at his history on SWGOH.GG, he really did seem to, to keep almost all of his good squads on offense. And that allowed me to really place a tough defense. So let's look at the board, see if he's attacked yet. We've got about four hours left in the attacking window and I'll show you what I'm up against. All right, he doesn't appear to have attacked yet. Down low here, I set my Darth Revan squad and my CLS with Chupio, but I kept my C3PO for Padme. Here's my Padme team, a Newt with Wampa and a Darth Vader squad. In the back, I put Grievous with Watt and a First Order team. And finally my ships, the same ones I've been running, a Home One and then a Thrawn team with Houndstooth. So what did he leave for me? He left a CLS squad with Wigs. He left me a General Grievous squad. Again, only two of his Sept droids are relic, and his Grievous is gear 11 and only has 20,000 health. And we have our basic bounty hunter squad with his relic Bosk. And down here, he left his Geos and some Ewoks. Now, you know what I do when I see those Ewoks? It is time for Nest. So go ahead and throw this on fast forward and just let it run.
All right. So a couple of things that I noticed halfway through the uh, battle there was that my auto is set for basic only for some reason, so it took way longer than it should have. Also, I noticed that he didn't have um, Logre in there at all. He had uh, Tebow instead, which meant uh, more stealth going out, but also now there was no way of me getting dazed, so a trade-off, I guess. Just annoying that I didn't realize I was on basic way sooner, so it could have been over faster. All right. Next we have the uh, Geos, and for that I will take my Treya squad. I'm not bringing Shock T in, I'm just bringing these three. They're all gear 12 except for Spy, who is Relic 2, but I'm not anticipating problems with that. Even in the event that Spy does get uh, somebody out, which is likely, honestly, at Relic 2, he's likely to get a good hit off. Um, I'm not worried about losing the, the fight. So, we just need Scion to go here. Oh, there goes Spy getting Trey out. But again, not, uh, not really sweating that. Won't be amazing banners, but... There was Spy's big hit again. Ooh, almost got Scion out. But, Hell by Hatred. That is the power of the Relic 2 Spy, I guess. That uh, definitely puts your team in peril. And now we are down to Spy. Bringing in Marauder always helps. A little bit of extra push on the damage. So only a 55, but we get to see what's in back. And in back, he's left me. A bad cart team and Imp Troopers. Interesting. All right. Give me a moment to sort out what I want to do, and I will be right back. All right, I am back. Have a plan. Uh, let's go ahead and come up top here. We will take out this Grievous team with gas, but I don't need everybody for sure. So let's just take Ark off. We'll go in a little shorthanded. I'm not going to need more teams. Um, so there's no point in me saving so many clones that Shock T has her own team. Let's just go in with four and make sure we get the win. Frankly, I'm not worried about it at all, seeing as how his Grievous is so squishy. We would have liked to get a uh, stun there if we could have, but that's okay. Unfortunately, I'm going to lose protection on everybody, but you can see their counterattack and he's already gone. So. That's one thing I didn't think about, is I should have brought in Arc Trooper just for the Dispel on Droidica, and I didn't do that. So, oh well, we will just wait for him to come out of damage and UD. There he goes. Got a nice big hit on uh, Skywalker. There we go. Echo can clear it as well. Just takes a while. So only a 57, I probably should have gone in even lighter, honestly. All right, let's see if we can start making up some banners here. Uh, we will go against these bounty hunters and I'll bring in my JTR. And um, we're not gonna go in shorthanded. It was just a question of, do I want R2D2 or Finn? And I think in the end, I want R2. Good. Hide everybody but BB-8. Pretty sure Cad Bane is the squishes uh, here. So giving around this inspiration. 
You get some. You get some. You get some. And IG-88, I think, is the next squishiest. We'll go after him next. Get the wiggle. I uh, don't need to heal yet. Wave off Bosk again. He doesn't taunt. Still hide out. Let's go with the normal. This is the basic. Knew that would do it. Um, oh, I am dumb. Can't hide everybody because Dengar is dumb. So, that was a waste of a turn for uh, R2 before. We'll go ahead and heal. And. Do that. Let's go ahead and give BB-8 some inspiration. And now let's work on boss. Uh, if we get a stun, very nice. So boss is not going to get a turn. Hopefully we can get a 60 out of this. As long as we can get Dengar down before he does a bunch of damage. 59, so that, that hit at the end, I think, did steal a banner. All right, next up we've got this CLS team. It's only Chewbacca who is Relic, uh, but they can be tricky. So I'm going in with this team. I'm gonna leave Basila at home though. I'll keep Jolie just in case I need to um, revive somebody from a lucky hit and I'll Bring in Yoda, Hoda, in case I need to, uh, just for the heal. So we'll go straight after Chewie because he is the problem. All right, now that he's gone, it's just a matter of how healthy can I keep my guys. Almost done. Heal up. And spread some foresight. And it looks like Wedge is going to attack next. Let's go him. And let's go after Big. Heal. And let's call um, Jolie to try and get him healed more. And looks like we'll get a 59. Oh, 60. All right. Nice. So my opponent does keep almost everything for offense. So I do want to try and get as high banners as I can. I'm a little bit short of where I'd like to be right now. Uh, let's see what he put in the back. A home one team and a Tarkin team with Separatist. So... I'll go ahead and take my Negotiator against that home one, and I'll take my Malevolence against the Tarkin. And I think I can go in uh, Undersize. Just how Undersize. Let's go with that. Not even bringing a tank. As long as I can get my, uh, as long as I can get my big old volley, whatever it's called, my AOE off quickly, should do well. I should be fine. Make sure that the Y Wing can go first. Rather, let's go get big out of here. Let's make sure the why we can't on what I was saying. Didn't say it well. Uh, let's go ahead and bring in Plo for the heals. And let's force a taunt onto fives. That'll be my, that'll be my pseudo tank. Well, it's not good anyway. Well, this is gonna 
get dicey. Because I didn't take out that Y Wing fast enough. So, lost a ship. That's gonna be painful for Banner. Plus, my. Uh, Should be fine. Should be fine. What do we get? 62. All right. Well, that's all right. I feel like that could have or should have been higher than it was, but I will take it. All right. Malevolence, and we will go with our separatists. And we'll just take in those. We don't leave that spot out empty. Likely to lose that guy because I freaking always lose. Him. Let's clear all the buffs off of him, or debuffs rather. Let's go after his vulture droid. The second here will bring in Spy. Bring in Boba, don't they? Alright, let's go ahead and bring in Spy. And now let us get out a couple of these guys. And we just have Boba to worry about. Let's go ahead and get the TIE Pilot, all the dodge, I hate that. It'd be nice if I didn't lose anybody, that would be fantastic. Not expecting that at this point. But maybe we'll get lucky. All right. All right. So we are now at the final last two here in the back. We have Karth and we have his uh, troopers. All right. So let's go against Karth and we'll use our bugs. And I'm not going to worry about undersizing, just going to do my best to uh, hopefully end with 60. Almost got it. Do a uh, basic there. And then should get out mission. Only real threat to do any kind of major damage there. And do our basics. Keep healing up. Johnny is going now. Uh, I'll save the heal. It may not get around again, but I think it will. Zelbar is a big boy. And this P3 is like gear 7 or something. So we'll see if we get around to another heal or not. We'll do basic and see if we can't prolong it. But even then, still might not happen. So there's our heal. And with any luck, we should get a 60 on this. gonna force my opponent to try and undersize squads to get the win and it didn't really leave any um, squads out there for him to undersize. All right that brings us to our final battle and against these bad troopers I'm gonna take my night sisters but there is currently a feat to win a battle with Asajj and uh, Savage. So I'm gonna go get my Savage. He is pretty low gear and he'll probably die, but that's okay. Just looking for the, uh, just looking for the feet. And these guys are all relatively low, uh, gear 9 or something. Now, I'm not gonna get great banners, but that's just the way it is with nice to see, right? So, that's okay. Let's get range down. 
At the end of the day, I'm not gonna I'm not gonna lose the battle. I just won't get great banners. But in return, I'll get a feat done. So. That. Got all those, but let's heal up. Let's heal. Oh, that was kind of dumb because Savage, the one who needed healing, has healing immunity. So, uh, definitely stupid. Uh, let's do a whirlwind. And yes, the final kill. It's only a 54. Let's see what I ended up with. A grand total of. 2115. So not amazing score. He definitely potentially could could get there. Um, but with the defense I've set, I don't think he will. Uh, I will come back in a few hours, see if he has attacked or not, and uh, check in with you then. All right, we're back, and the round is over. Let me show you what happened. Uh, we did get the win. So he did come back to attack. He was able to one-shot my top zone there. He was also able to uh, one-shot my ship area. But here in the front, he one-shot my CLS, but took three tries versus my Darth Revan and was not able to get through it and gave up. That win uh, got me into Kyber already, so that's fantastic. Uh, and that is the final. 2115 to 1584. I'd like to thank Phoenix for the match. I would like to thank you for watching and I will see you in next round.